Hello guys and welcome. We'll continue where we left off. Let's see what happens. Another cutscene. Am I supposed to say what are you? you for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Ouch, I smell <laughs> trouble. Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. I see a fist fight coming. Horse Hans! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy doisha? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Ouch, right in the head. <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Oh, a brawl starting. Let's see. You that. Mm. Ah! Take that. You're gonna they don't stand a chance. <gasps> I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's flank him. Take that, fucker. What now? See him gets bruised up. Continue to fight him. Ouch! Right to the knee. Right to the head. And the knee. He's down. One left. We got him. Let's run. Let's run. For the guards catch us. Meet the lads at the Kineshis. You've discovered a fast travel point. Well, this is a shortcut. A secret hidden path. Not so much a secret, as it yep. seems. Come on, get off. Well, we'll meet the lads at a designated point. We're not supposed to get caught by the guards. Well, not this one, because this one hasn't heard of it yet. We've discovered a traitor. Well, we haven't got caught. Let's talk to them. Oof. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That we did. That old bastard didn't stand a chance. 
True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Of course he will. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. It's lucky Johanka warned us. Nice job on the Deutsch's place. It's lucky. It's a good Johan thing Johanka mm -hmm. warned us. Johanka. Well behaved girl like that. I'm surprised she didn't call the catchpole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I think maybe she likes the look of him too. Uh huh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> this is Matthias. Nice job on the Deutsches place. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> well, on a small village like this, you need some fun. Hey, what are you doing? It's a drunkard. That we've been that we have beaten up earlier. Now, now that we have sorted it out, let's see. Open up the map, and this is the last part of the main quest by Ale at the Tavern. So let's go. We got the charcoal. We got the sword grip. Cross guard, yeah, it's cross guard. We've collected our money from the Kanesh, and the last part is to get ale for father. So let's see, this is our girl, she must be. My pleasure. Let's speak to her, Bianca, yep, that's Greetings, she is. Henry. Greetings, beautiful. God save my lovely. Well, lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Well, a bit of flirting doesn't hurt anyone. You do. Your beauty, of course. You romantic bastard. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, <sighs> what else might your worship desire? A picture for father, the Deutsch is saying stupid things. So, sure, yeah, yeah, let's go with this one. The Deutsch is saying stupid the things. The Deutsch is mouthing off again. Mouthing off again. Oh, then talk to me about him. He's a good customer, but when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. Henry, you got blood all over you. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Chicky. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you, right? Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look Check forward to this it. evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Lanyon? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But... What in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. Come on, why it everybody keeps like saying that? I'll be going now. See you this evening. We need to learn how to defend how? ourselves. I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? Now we'll be talking Your about angel. Savior Schnapps. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. This is done as well. Now guys, there are three different ways that you can save your game in Kingdom Come Deliverance. The first one is by drinking Savior Schnapps. They're like this drinks, portions that you can drink and it allows you to save your game. So the second option is to 
sleep when you sleep and wake up the game saves automatically and the third option is when you s reach certain checkpoints the, s uh, the game uh, saves automatically again so these are only your three options unlike any other RPG games because well most of us know that when we are playing role-playing games we, f we we tend to save every five seconds or so not to miss anything about the Kingdom Come Deliverance doesn't allow you to save whenever you want. So let's check our map. Yep, there's nothing else to do, so let's return to our father. Again, the map is beautifully drawn. It's very. It looks very handmade. Looks very medieval. Not just roads or anything. It shows every structure around and it shows them beautifully, portrays them beautifully. So let's return to our father. Well, this feels just so good. The atmosphere is so beautifully made. You'll immerse right into it. I hope you're not looking for me yet. Yeah, you're not. Okay, let's return to our father. Here he is. Let's talk. About the things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Cross guard for right. new sword. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. That's beautiful. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal. That's the ilt. Good. And fire That's up the cross forge. guard. We'll put it all together. There are a lot of cuts By the way, like this. Someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Don't cross him, Henry. Do you understand? Our father is kind of a badass, by the way. understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught, making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Valuable lesson. Smart man your father is, Henry. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. 
do it. Sword making process. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why I would I want any other find out? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university, and all without a war. Most importantly, to rule. better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. One, two, three, and four. Look, it's magnificent. Indeed it is. Looks beautiful. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Now guys, this Good is day, Teresa. Teresa. We'll be seeing her. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Again. Henry, Let's go get the right? Let's go get the <laughs> nails. Hello, lovely. So let's go to the house and gather those nails. Hello, Ma. Well, they're in here. There's for Theresa, bandage, and marigold decoction. Let's take all of them. Looks valuable. We're going to need them. Bring the nails to Theresa. Theresa, let's talk. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Do I feel a romantic tension between you Maybe two? Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Henry, are you checking her out? Fine, last. And your eh? father as well. <laughs> now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Nice moves, Dad. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Mm. You haven't lost your skills, though. This is the Lord. The Lord of the castle. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it.
cringe. <laughs> cringe. You still have Come a on, Henry. Yeah. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. Now, our family is I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry Trying to keep, it out, keep us out. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. Sword. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. There you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. I see sure. you, my lord. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank Henry's you. Henry's blood is boiling time. right now. He's thinking about traveling. Long, peculiar history. And he's curious. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. I hope so, Dad. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Now that's a realistic Talk approach. You've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. Maybe both. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Trouble. There's a messenger. A messenger? He was in a hurry. What's happened? Uh oh. There's the lost army approaching the castle. Well, seems like those days are here already. Oh no. Oh no. Well guys, this is where the fun begins. Run you idiots, run! Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. your father, Henry. If happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Oh! They're gonna slaughter everyone. Let's go, Henry. Let's go. Let's start. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! You have no Move idea how closing. exciting this is. Move it, people! Right now. Come on! Come on! Come on. Playing this Henry. game after all, after all this time. Get inside quick! We have to shut the Keep gates! Keep running, people! Come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Ugh. 
Father knows how to fight. Run, father, run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch out! No! <laughs> oh god. This is the moment Henry's life changed forever. A mother too. No! I'm speechless. Remember that face. Remember that face. Hurry, Henry! Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! We gotta run. And we gotta run fast. Find a horse! Ride to town, Merc! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moat! There's a hidden path that we're going to run from. We're gonna run. We must run. Guys, combat is a lot harder than you think in Kingdom Come Deliverance because of its reality. Now, you just can't go up against not even two, not even one of these veteran soldiers without unarmored, without any armor. So we got to run. There will be fighters chasing us. There will be soldiers. We gotta run as fast as I can. As fast as we can. So this is basic tutorial about how to horse ride. How to ride a horse movement. You can toggle walk or run. You can sprint or canter or gallop with left shift it shows horses stamina its health so let's go if there is so but there's nothing we can do right now I'm so sorry honey Have to run. So we're just gonna run, run, run. That was too bad. Oh, got an arrow to the knee. Sounds familiar. Just run, man. Yep, they're right behind us. We can afford to stop right now. We'll just follow down the road. We're witnessing all this massacre. There is nothing we can do. Oh, ouch! They're shooting arrows. And they're low on health. We 
We're gonna zigzag a little to be able to dodge their arrows. We have to follow down this road. Come on, Henry. We can do this. Your horse will slow down on its own once the when it, once its stamina is too low. You got to dodge their arrows. Now this is not basic tutorial. You could actually die, and you'll have to start from the latest checkpoint. And run, Henry, run! You gotta gallop. Run, people! Run, hide! Where? Well, they're one or two arrow away from dying. Yep, there is the castle on the horizon. And we've done it. We made it guys, let's see what happens next. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who Come burned it to the ground? Down. A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. Tatars, maybe? I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. On three. Yeah! Man, come on, we were at the one. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Yes, we can. The voice acting, as I've, as I've said previously, is just spot on.
Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. Dozens, there were dozens of, of banners. banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. And the ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Skalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. This is no a sad day for us. Henry. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. So we've warned Talenberg about the upcoming threat hoping that maybe they'll stand a chance against Sigismund's army you discovered your bed you discovered Baker so let's go we are absolutely starving and we're low on energy we need sleep as well so let's go find something to eat <coughs> Hello there. This is inside Tomberg's castle. Beautiful craftsmanship, as I've said. Absolutely brilliant graphics. So let's talk to Sir Robot. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Thank you, I heard sir. about your father. They say How he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horses. Well, I guess this villager is trying to talk to us. I can't understand why he wasted his talent. I'm sure. I don't want to talk about Scarlet. It was awful. It was awful. Sigismund came with his army. Sigismund's massive army descended on Scarlet. They torched Robert in their way. It was a fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. Mm hmm. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh, the bastard. No. Oh no, right, right. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They... They were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. So basically, oh, curious villagers. Must eat. Yep, we must eat indeed. Let's go to the kitchen. I guess this is it. Yep, this is Sir Robot. And this is the kitchen. Ah, oh, Milady. 
You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired well, This is of the hungry. wife <laughs> Indeed. of How could he not be Lord poor Rivish. Soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat Food, your fill. finally. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Thank you, my lady. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. That's a kind one. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into yes, bed. Yes, sir. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. An apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, and so on and so forth. So, so there, is, there is the food versus starving. So let's pick some roast duck. Let's pick them up. This is the Lenten mash, mash or so there are some bread rolls and some cheese so let's not uh, eat while standing let's sit over here hello well hello Mr. Cook so you can open your inventory while sitting. Let's get to the food tab. We're at zero nourishment. We're literally starving. So let's eat something. As I've said, you can see the properties of the food by pressing Q. Any items properties really, not just food. By pressing Q. Lantern mash is a staple of countryside cuisine. Its nourishment is nine. Well, it won't do, but let's start by this. Roast duck. Now, roast duck is really nourishing. It has a nourishment point of 26. Minus 6 to the energy. So it makes you sleepy. But we'll trade that for feeling full. Let's eat some roast duck. We're 61. Eat some cheese. Some bread rolls. And we're full. Okay then. Let's get up. Oh, my word. Oh, good God. We are really oh. sleepy. So let's check our quest log. So we've got the main quest of run. I wish everything that happened today had just been a bad dream. I wish so, Henry. I wish too. And that I'll awake, I'll wake at home to the sound of father hammering on his anvil and mother humming while she cooks. I'm sorry, man. Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep there until morning. <coughs> God knows we need it. But before going, guys, we'll continue on the next episode. If you like my video, don't forget to push that like button. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.